In the episode Take My Life, Please, a new character is introduced called Vance. It is interesting that V in the occult is the sign of five, since it is primarily indicating that particular Roman numeral. The V is an indication of the satanic occultic five-sided pentagram, and it is therefore a coded reference. I suspect this Vance to be code for the coming Antichrist, Prince William. The guy owns a few local businesses and everyone treats him like he's God. Dad, you ran for class president? Yep, back in high school, right before I met your mother. A simpler time when the only thing we worried about was total nuclear annihilation. This episode also features SS twice. The satanic S represents a lightning bolt that means destroyer. The destroyer was also mentioned in Atlas Shrugged. I suspect this is just another code name for Prince William. Hey, what if we got everyone to vote for him as a joke? Want to go to prom with me? Well, I'm engaged to the quarterback, but yes. <laughs> In episode 11, titled How the Test Was Won, we see a map of the U.S. is shown, and the Golden Gate Bridge, and the Illuminati Umbrella. Sure, it's supposed to do today. Can you make sure to mail it? Absolutely. Now, this blue umbrella was also shown in Resident Evil. From the Bible, clouds symbolically represent angels and their judgments upon the earth are represented as rain, snow, and hail. The umbrella represents Illuminati protection against angels. It is said that Lucifer can foresee when the angels' judgments are coming, and he is called the Rain Man because of this. Hey children, the answers to the standardized test fall into 12 basic patterns. Repeat after me, Akaka, Dabaka, Akakaka. Now I believe this to be some sort of code. Um, I think it represents the safe locations in America. I believe this because Alaska here is shown in the green, and Alaska has been shown through many episodes as a safe location. Also in the Simpsons movie. In the episode titled Wedding for Disaster, from season 20, episode 15, is what I believe to be one of the most important codes of all. In one scene, Homer puts a Santa in front of a box showing XDEC. This, I believe, stands for December the 10th, and it is this exact same date that is shown in Atlas Shrugged as being the date for a wedding anniversary. I'll get to this code later on. Will you marry me in style? Oh, yes, Homer. Yes. Did you hear that, Santa? She said yes. Yes. No. They also show in this episode a cake with blast off to a happy birthday. I suspect this to be a message to the Antichrist, Prince William, whose birthday is on June the 21st. June 21st is pretty much exactly in the middle of the coming three months of terrorist attacks. Remember this as I'll explain this in more detail as we go further. Got this rocket ship cake, Marge! A rocket ship wedding cake! Just what I always wanted! Right. I want to show you where Prince William's birthday is situated in relation to these three months of terrorist attacks in 2013. Here we see it is pretty much right in the middle of the three months of terrorist attacks, which I believe is what this blast off to a happy birthday is meaning. And this is just sacrifices to false idols. Here we see that the eclipse on May 9th is at the very beginning of these three months of terrorist attacks. In this episode titled Wedding for Disaster, a new character called the Parson is introduced that I suspect is code for the false prophet. Satanist Benjamin Krem states on his website that the Maitreya, that I suspect is Raj Patel, will come during great global turmoil. May 9th, 2013 is when there is an eclipse mentioned in the previous episode. It is also the day after May 8th when Westminster Abbey will be destroyed. Tomorrow we'll be blessed with a visit from the highest ranking clergyman of our Presby Lutheran faith, His Holiness the Parson. <laughs> What's that? The Parson is here! Oh my God! It's him! The earthly embodiment of the elected chair! And now I am just a man like any other that has been chosen by God. In episode 17, titled The Good, the Sad, and the Drugly, we see code that suggests that water and oil will be gone. What will Springfield be like in 50 years? Let's see what the computer says. That's horrible. What else? We 
also see the smiley face symbol shown a lot, which I believe is a symbol for the Antichrist. The smiley represents the smiley conjunction of planets that happened just before Prince William was conceived. You notice that whenever the smiley is shown, it is representing that the Antichrist is responsible for the situation being displayed. And on a side note, you'll notice that movies that feature the smiley have a satanic undercurrent to them. If you could be out of God's worst enemy or nothing, which would you choose? We're the middle children of history. We have no special purpose or place, and unless we get God's attention, we have no hope of damnation or redemption. Which is worse, hell or nothing? Burn the museums. Wipe your ass with the Mona Lisa. This way, at least God will know your name. So, Jenny, I hear you're religious. Know what my favorite book of the Bible is? Revelations.